When you forgive someone, have you really forgiven them and let it go? Like water under the bridge? Or is it still easy to hold a grudge? Maybe there's more to do after forgiving. Good morning, I'm Dar Budsberg, and here at the Lakes Church in Wapaka, we're reading a chapter of the Bible a day. The chapter for today, August 18th, is 2 Corinthians chapter 2. I encourage you to read the whole chapter, but I would like to focus on verse 7. Here, someone in the church in Corinth was confronted for something he was doing wrong. He repented and changed his ways. So this is what Paul says to the church in verse 7. You ought to forgive him and comfort him so that he will not be overwhelmed by excessive sorrow. So Paul says when they forgive him, they are to comfort him also. In verses 10 and 11, he goes on to say, I have forgiven in the sight of Christ for your sake, in order that Satan might not outwit us, for we are not unaware of his schemes. Satan would love for this guy to be in persistent sorrow over what he had done, keeping him unproductive in the rest of his life. But once we are forgiven, we are forgiven and don't need to keep bringing it to mind over and over again. So let's help those who have repented to know they are forgiven and accepted and loved by God and others and not to be in excessive sorrow. And they should be free to get on with the rest of their lives. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us enjoy the day.